Hi, Tony Spears from Grange Gold. I wanted to talk to you today about an issue that I came up against with a client recently, and he was trying to make a yes-no decision on a piece of plant that he owned already and whether he should sell it. He'd had an offer for, to buy this piece of plant, um, and he didn't really know whether he wanted to sell it or whether he didn't. At the, at the current time, it was underperforming in the business, and they didn't really have uh, the right people to, to run the piece of plant. But his thought pattern was going round and round and round in circles, and he wasn't able to come to a, a real decision that he was happy, happy with. So I built this little model, um, and based on a weighting uh, for each factor that we identified that would influence whether he would want to keep the machine or, or let it go. And the factors we came up with is, you know, what's the potential market size uh, for, use in the, for use of that machine? Is there a, what's the level of demand within that market? Does it produce a good gross margin? What's the current capability within the business to run the machine? How much does it cost to implement the machine? What's the risk if, it, if it's implemented and, and or if it fails? Does it add to the business's competitive advantage over its, over its other uh, competitors within the market? Does it give synergies with other products and services and help sales of those other products and services that the business already has? Is there any alignment with the, his vision for the business? And does it add value to the business overall? I then went and identified and defined what the negative of each one of those factors would be and what the positive would be. And, and then there's a score of one to 10 for each and then, then we gave them a weighting. And then we went through and rated each, each, each one. So for potential market size, we felt the market was quite large for this particular service, so we gave that a nine. The level of demand for that service we felt was also quite significant, so we gave that a seven. Gross margins are actually excellent for this particular machine, so we gave that a nine. The problem he had was current capability, and that was a low scoring uh, thing uh, factor within the business, so we only gave that three. The cost of implement imp implementation is negligible because the machine's already in place, so it's a nine. The risk if implemented, we also felt was, was low, so we gave that an eight. The competitive advantage at hands, we felt it would give, our, give it, the business a significant advantage over the competitors if, if marketed and, and run well, so we gave that an eight. The synergies with other products, it does feed into sales of the other products, so it's definitely a nine. Is it aligned with his business vision? Yes, it is, so we also gave that a nine. And will it add uh, value to the business? And we think it will, but probably not to the extent of some of the other things, so we gave that a six. We'd already said at the beginning, when we said uh, set this model up, that the score, the, the hurdle score would be 70, and if it got over 70, then that was a yes, and we put that, that automatically comes up there, or if it got under 70, it would be a no. The weighted score ended up at 72.75, so it's a yes. Now, he hasn't still made that decision, but this uh, model has put some framework around that uh, decision making and giving him a quantitative way to understand exactly what he's trying to achieve um, by making the decision he's making. So if you've got a yes no decision to make, maybe something like this model can help you make it as well. I'd be happy to run through it with you at any time, so please give me a call at Grange Gold. Thanks for listening.